so you finally decided to start making beats. Congratulations! You open up FL Studio and everything you see looks super overwhelming. You don't know where to start. You kind of feel like giving up already, but please don't. Because if you watch this video till the end, you will understand the core basics of making beats in FL Studio. The first thing you want to do is click File and then New from Template. Go to Minimal and at the bottom you can choose the Empty Project. This will keep everything clean. Now click on these toggles until your workspace is empty. Or you can also use your F keys for that. And if you hover a button, you will see the shortcut for that on the top left in the hint panel. By the way, this counts for every button in FL. Now let's open up the channel rack. You can literally see this as a rack where you stack your sounds. To drag in sounds, you need to open up the browser, which you can find here. But Timon, where do I find my sounds? Well, right click on clipboard files and choose open. This will open up a folder and all the sounds and folders you put in here will also open up in the browser. From here you can drag them into the channel rack. For example, your drum sounds such as a kick, snare, hi-hat, open hi-hat and so on. But we also want to have an instrument of course. Click the plus button to open up the plugins list. You can use Flex for example, this comes with FL Studio when you download it. Here you can find a list with sounds you can play. If you enable this toggle, you can use your keyboard to play the instrument. Once you've found a sound you like, close it. Then right click flex in the channel rack and choose piano roll. Here you can click to draw notes and right click to delete them. Now in music there are some rules of what notes you can use and which you cannot. To help you with that open up the menu on the top left. Then choose view, scale highlighting and choose for example the D minor melodic scale. All the notes you can use are now highlighted. So go ahead create a simple melody. Sounds great for the sake of this tutorial, but you can copy it if you'd like. A quick tip, you can transpose the entire melody by pressing Ctrl plus, arrow, up or down. That way you can see if it sounds better in another octave. Now if you're done, close the piano roll and get back to the piano rack. Here you can draw in notes just like in the piano roll. For the drum pattern, let's start with the hi-hat. Right click the sample and choose fill each two steps. That way you get a hi-hat pattern like this. Now don't be afraid to go into the piano roll and change up the notes to a pattern like this. Next, we're gonna put the snare on the third beat every time because that is the most common in trap beats. And then we're gonna fill up these spots with a kick. This is something you can get really creative with. You know what, create a few melodies and make some drum patterns on it. You will learn a lot from that. I also messed around with a shaker and an open hi-hat. This is what I came up with. Again, you can copy it if you'd like. Next, we're gonna create an 808 or bass pattern. But first, we need to do something super important. Right click on the 808 pattern and choose cut itself. Otherwise, multiple 808s will overlap and that sounds terrible. Let's go to the piano roll and create a very simple 808 pattern. Also, make sure you stay inside the scale of your project. Create something like this and at the end of the loop, you can create slides. You can do that by putting two notes on top of each other. And if you want it to slide up, double click the top note and enable slide. Then click accept and now adjust the length of the slide note. Awesome. Now that we have everything stacked, we can close the channel rack. This icon in the toolbar will open up the playlist. In this place, we're gonna take all our patterns and create a very simple beat arrangement. On the left, you can see the entire pattern we created. You can drag it in the playlist, but now we have one problem. All the sounds are sitting in one pattern, but we want them all separately so we can arrange them. To do that, right click the pattern and choose split by channel. And now we have all the sounds separated. Hold shift and select all the patterns, then drag them into the playlist. You can hit Alt plus T on your keyboard to create a marker and give it a name. For example, intro. You can do the same for all the other parts of the song. Now this way your entire beat is super organized. Now you can duplicate everything by pressing Ctrl B on your keyboard. Now in the intro we want to keep things very light. Then in the chorus I like everything to come in simultaneously. That way the drop sounds super hard. In the verse we can create another buildup until the next chorus comes. Then you can basically delete everything that comes after and copy and paste the first parts. You, you can do whatever you like by the way. Heck, you don't even need an outro you can just let it end with the chorus. This is an extremely basic arrangement, but I have other videos about arrangement, so definitely go check them out. Alright, next you will learn how to make your beats sound like the pros by mixing them correctly. So go check this video right here to continue the lesson, and I'll see you there. Goodbye.